We moved into a new apartment this year and we were in some dire need of new furniture. So what do you do with a tight budget in the middle of a pandemic with supply chains constrained, prices going up, and a girlfriend with expensive tastes? You gotta get creative. Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Tommy Grimes and I vlog about the people, places, and things that I love from the city of brotherly love to the city of angels and beyond. We moved back in April and we suddenly had a lot more space and not a lot of furniture to put into it. As it turns out, Sandy and I really like West Elm stuff. I like their mid-century furniture. Somehow it kind of fits my taste. We've been able to furnish our entire apartment with mostly all West Elm stuff and we paid half price or less on pretty much everything. So today we're gonna go through what we learned in the process. West Elm may not be the most expensive furniture on the market, but it's definitely not as affordable as like Ikea or Wayfair. If you're ordering a large item online, you have to consider that on top of the advertised price, you're gonna need to pay for their premium white glove shipping. And that usually costs around $250, plus there's gonna be taxes. First off, I recommend making an account and harding all of your favorite stuff so that you know what you like and what it costs. Keep checking back every few days to see if they're having sales. Big sales tend to happen around the holidays, especially Black Friday. We were able to get a really good deal in July, I'm guessing because it corresponded with Independence Day. I really wanted to get a new entertainment console and I absolutely love their mid-century options. Keep in mind, a lot of their furniture comes in different finishes and colors. This Pearl version of the 81 inch media console got slashed to 50% on clearance I really like the acorn color, but Sani is the design boss and she really loves white and pearl colors. So we compromised and got a really awesome deal. Uh, we did have to jump on it while we could because now they no longer offer it in that color anymore. The other way we saved on West Elm's website was using the outlet page. There you'll find a list of items that are marked down considerably. When we moved, we needed to get a new couch because Dan's cat, Luna, never cookie, scratched our couch to hell. You can order fabric swatches online for free. That way as you shop, you can check if you really like the colors or the material. We also went into the retail stores to sit on different couches and get an idea of what we really liked. We found a Henry sectional with sleeper bed and storage chase for over 50% off. So when we ordered it, I kept clicking it and kept disappearing and coming back, but eventually it finally went through. Maybe I was like fighting with someone else that was also considering it, I'm not sure. Unfortunately, uh, it was shipped in two separate pieces and took over a month to arrive. I had to call customer service to check on it to see where it was. I think it shipped in two separate pieces and one of them may have gotten lost in transit. When it did finally arrive, we had to pay for that extra white glove delivery service because we ordered it online. The couch is super duper heavy and our delivery guys were great. I actually asked them if it looked any different being open box from the new stuff and they said it looked just like everything else. Uh, it even had the tag still on it. So I'm not sure how it qualified as open box. Maybe it was like a floor model that they disassembled and put back together. When you buy big items, you start to accrue key rewards points. We had $30 from rewards from buying the couch that I used to get a whiskey decanter, which I really like. So I basically ended up getting that for free. Be aware, those points do expire after like only a couple months. We had some extra points that I never got to use because they expired. So I was kind of bummed by that too. One other option for getting deals directly from West Elm, if you're lucky, you may live near an actual West Elm outlet store where they have open box items uh, just there for sale. We live in LA and there's one up in Moreno Valley. Fortunately, that's a bit of a trek and we only have a Prius. So if you buy something, you gotta like haul it home yourself. So it's not ideal for us to be shopping for big furniture there, but it could be an option for you. We bought our media console, couch, and bed frame all directly from West Elm. We did also get some smaller items during their summer sale. To really save money, try purchasing items used. We've had lots of success on the OfferUp app and Facebook Marketplace. We've tried Craigslist too, but it's inundated with spam postings, which makes it hard to find stuff. We sold our coffee table for $80 on OfferUp and bought the West Elm coffee table that we really love for only $200. So at the end of the day, we only ended up spending like $120 on the table, which retails for $429 plus shipping and tax. The glass does have some scratches, but there's ways of fixing that, uh, and we're very happy with that purchase. Our table we got for $400, but it'd be $700 plus tax and shipping if we got it brand new. Uh, we also kept an eye out for these cafe chairs. We got the first two from one seller and the other four which have padding from another. I'll be honest, 
I forget how much we paid, but it was way under the price of getting them brand new. There are little nicks and stuff, but those can be removed with a wood pen. A few other items we were able to get used. Uh, the set of mid-century night sands go for $700 and we got them for $300. Then realized they're actually the charging models, which go for like $800 before tax and shipping. So we got a really good deal on that one. Sandy also got these lamps uh, for half price on offer up too. I really, really wanted a new office chair. I've been looking around to see what was on sale and I missed out on a few deals. Sonny surprised me one day by getting me the Helvetica leather office chair, which retails for $700. She haggled down the cellar to $150. <laughs> Granted, it needed to clean and had a few blemishes and I still need to fix a wheel that keeps falling off, but I love it. it makes me feel classy. So here's some tips for online selling. Take time and see what people are typically selling the item you want for. You'll start to get a sense of what a good price is versus what an okay deal is. Also, you'll start to see which items get scooped up really fast. For instance, this media console seems to be a hot item. I'd see lots of people reselling them close to retail price. If anyone posted one for well under retail, it'd be scooped up in like hours. It never hurts to offer a lower bid. Sandy is way better at that than me, but it's worked in several cases. If you see something that's a hot item and it's for a good price, go for it as quickly as possible. We missed out on a few items because we couldn't decide if we wanted to pull the trigger. Communicate with the seller and get yourself good reviews. That way they'll be more likely to accept your offers too or respond to you. Also, when you go to pick it up, try and go with someone else. I always felt more comfortable when we were both doing it together. You are dealing with strangers, so you never know. We've been very fortunate so far. We do look at the reviews of the sellers before we buy to make sure that they don't have any like problems and they've sold stuff before. Some stuff we just went with Ikea. For instance, this kitchen counter, it was super cheap and just barely fit our little kitchen nook area. It works super well. Also, we got a dresser. I wish I could get the mid-century one, but I'm poor. Some other sites like All Modern have very similar mid-century modern furniture at cheaper prices. A lot of it looks like it could almost be a complete copy of what West Elm has. After buying all the stuff used, I feel like as long as we take good care of the furniture, it won't really lose much value if we have to resell it online. That being said, trends come and go. In a few years, the style may be out of fashion again, or West Elm might not be selling as well. Let me know in the comments if you have any other good ways to score deals on West Elm or other high-end furniture. And how do you save money on furniture for your home? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and a share. Subscribe for more of the people, places, and things that I love from Philly, LA, and beyond. Also check out my DNA videos and the videos documenting my search for my late father's biological family, which I'm still working on and now calling grimy. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you all again real soon.